all and stay safe stay healthy thank you ప్రపంచంలోనే అతిపెద్ద లాభాపేక్ష లేని దాతృత్వ సంస్థగా గుర్తింపు పొందింది యునైటెడ్ వే వరల్డ్ వైడ్ ఈ సంస్థకు చెందిన హైదరాబాద్ చాప్టర్ యునైటెడ్ వే ఆఫ్ హైదరాబాద్ పదవ వార్షికోత్సవం సందర్భంగా టెనాసిటీ పేరుతో రెండు రోజుల కాంక్లేవ్ ను నిర్వహించింది శుక్రవారం ప్రారంభమైన ఈ సదస్సు ఇవాళ ముగియనుంది సేవా రంగంలో కార్పొరేట్ల పాత్ర అంశంతో పాటు తదితర అంశంపై ఈ సదస్సులో చర్చించారు సమాజ సేవలో దశాబ్ద కాలం పూర్తి చేసుకున్న యునైటెడ్ వే ఆఫ్ హైదరాబాద్ చాప్టర్ కు ఈ సందర్భంగా మంత్రి కేటీఆర్ అభినందనలు తెలిపారు లక్షలాది మంది జీవితాల్లో వెలుగులు నింపుతున్న యునైటెడ్ వే ఆఫ్ హైదరాబాద్ సేవలను పలువురు ప్రముఖులు కొనియాడారు and uh, we are commemorating this milestone through these kind of interactions one very great thing about united way and uh, i speak a lot about united way whenever we receive uh, companies who are setting up their offices their technology centers in hyderabad and as you know globally the emphasis on charity apart from the infrastructure talent government policies etc i do make it a point to tell them that we have wonderful platforms like the united way which will help you straight away right on day one get into social development projects get into charity get into philanthropy and uh, you can be absolutely sure about the reliability of the efforts which uh, this platform the united way hand over platform can bring to you and i also believe that this is something which is very unique that we bring on bring on to the table the value proposition that united way hyderabad brings is uh, two fold one is that we select the implementation partners very very well in fact uh, i use a kind of a parallel while speaking about united way that it is the crystal for ngos so if a ngo has been identified by united way to partner in a particular implementation program then you can be assured that complete due diligence complete verification about that ngo has been done we are over more than 30 plus donors thanks to each of you for making us do what we are doing today from 28 lakhs to 70 crores a year more than a 500% 600% growth from one project when we started we now have proudly more than 170 projects ongoing in the organizations and from none to we could rejuvenate 3 lakhs under the wake the lake program and from none we proudly say that 55% of the government schools under jhmc are now covered by united way of hyderabad and last but not least we were then serving maybe less than 100 people and now proudly accumulating all the 10 years we are serving more than 1.3 million people the facts speak about what we have contributed and what we can do with your continued support we take a pride in saying our due diligence process in building or onboarding the non profits is one of the best and thorough we ensure that we follow a methodical process in what we do which actually connected very well with our corporate donors it's wonderful in terms of what we have witnessed today with tenacity kick off the virtual summit of UWH 10th anniversary celebrations. Having listened to the insights from PK on the role of corporate leaders <laughs> maximizing value for social sector. I saw so many examples of the positive impact that CSR projects had. Um, I'm going to focus on American companies because I was the U.S. Consul General, but almost from the moment I arrived, you know, I saw what our companies were doing. So um, just about right when I arrived, Salesforce opened its offices in Hyderabad. And they, they, in addition to explaining, you know, how many people they were hiring, what they were doing, which you would think would be the, the focus of their intention, uh, they really stressed their commitment to corporate social responsibility globally, um, you know, which included um, devotion of their product and their profit and their people. 
Uh, and to me, it was very interesting. That was their calling card. That sort of represented who they were, you know, the values they had, what they did. And it's so important, as we all know, for organizations to stress uh, their values, not only to their own people, uh, but to the public. And so time and time again, when I visited, you know, many of the 130 companies in Hyderabad, we would ask, my team and I would ask about their CSR program. And what we found was, you know, it was definitely built into the, uh, the uh, overall strategic plan of the company, you know, how these projects were fitting in, you know, what was the, what was the message they were conveying about, um, you know, their company. But I want to stress a, a couple of things. One was, you know, you would think this is because India requires this under the Companies Act. Business Weekend, 